all right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, just as always, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory. Double honors to the office of the apostles at GMS Square Millstone. And a sincere love, peace, love, blessing, salutations but to all of you hopeful and faithful members of the elect out there who have been called. And Lord willing, you endure to be chosen, man. And Lord willing, this be edifying unto you. As you see in the background, I got this thing pulled up called the Playbook. <laughs> brothers are familiar with this show, man, it's, uh, it's called, uh, How I Met Your Mother, it's, uh, you know, kind of a, you know, just a, a comedy type of show, but there's this character in it, man, and you see right here how he's dressed up like a scuba diver, and how, how I had pulled, it had pulled up that book called The Playbook, this guy's whole character is getting with women, man, and, uh, you know, which we know according to the law, there's, you know, there's really nothing wrong with that as long as the woman is not betrothed or married. But the point that I wanted to draw from this is, uh, you know, this guy's playbook and, and, his, and his whole scheme, man, this guy will become any type of creature, any type of being, any type of character to, to get the cheeks, man, to get with the, to get with the woman he's trying to get with at the moment. Right, so he created this book called the Playbook, and this is one of his plays here, dressed up like a scuba diver to try to get <laughs> try to get with a particular woman, and you know, I mean, it's a comedy show, so it's funny, man. But th 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 this book that he compiled together has, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different plays, different cards, if you will, that you could play to get with these women, man. All right, now it just made me think of how we were in the world, right? How we would make ourselves fools. And not even just for women, man, but for whatever it was you were trying to obtain, man. We would put ourselves in some crazy situations, put ourselves in some, some, right? Some, uh, 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 in harm's way, man. Risking death over, over the world, you see? And then and really it's just become, it, it, it just, it just cause we've been institutionalized out here, man. You take somebody and put him in prison. He's going to learn the prison way of life. He's going to get out. He ain't going to know how to live outside anymore, man. You see, he's gotten used to getting his food at a particular time. He's gotten used to the routine. He's gotten used to do his particular things to try to get his honey bun. And that was the worries of his day, man. <laughs> now look at the, look at what our worries have become. Meanwhile, look at the world around us, man. We've learned how to serve our, our, our belly. Meanwhile, the world has, has been destroyed around us, man. And, and we're, we are what? We are the royalty, man. We are Israel, the sons and daughters of Yasharala, man. <laughs> you see? We have a particular way to conduct ourselves and to uh, 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 act in this world as such, man. Which is why we were given what? The law. Which is why 1 John 3 and 4 says what? That the transgression of the law is sin, man. All right, so I got some scriptures pulled up. This is Romans chapter 6 and verse 20. It says, For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. So here you see us, man, right? Doing all this madness, right? This has become the worries of our life. Meanwhile, Esau <laughs> has encapsulated the entire planet, our planet, our inheritance with debt, man. And meanwhile, this is what we're doing out here. Learning the stinky leg and learning the <laughs> learning learning different different schemes, different cards to, to play on different women. And really it just comes from a place of right, we're we're in a over sexualized world. Right? And it, and it, and it's just out of order, man. There is a particular order for these things to take place, man. And and we ain't gonna have that till the kingdom. So so now you have you have men running out their wit to try to get with these women that have seven hundred other men. Running out, running out their way, also trying to get with them, man. So it's just become madness out here. I heard, I heard somebody in the world tell me that the reason they they try to deal with with women who are in a relationship, in other words, adultery, right? Because the definition of adultery is is when you are a betrothed woman and she's getting with another man, right? So that man is committing adultery because that woman's married and that woman is committing adultery because she's married. That's adultery, man. 
point blank period. Don't say nothing about the man <laughs> being with another, again, King Solomon, right? Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, had about 700 wives, man, and like 300 concubines. Again, uh, over sexualized world today, which the men have become under sexualized in. Women outnumber men three to one, right? And, and, and <laughs> hey, that's supposed to be three, three, three of them for every man. Whether you see it like that or not. But you see, this this disorder has taken place. We're living in Esau's world. We've learned to serve our bellies, man. We've got all these different sexual diseases running rampant. Because instead of because <laughs> because the tables have turned, and these women have had many, many, many partners, man. And you still see us running out of our wit, looking like this guy for it, man. So anyway, let me go ahead and go back to this. Romans six and uh twenty one. It says. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed, right? <laughs> and and you see you see things like this, and, and it's funny, man. I mean, this like I said, it's a comedy show, right? But really, man, these this guy's looking like a goddamn fool, like a scuba diver at, at, in the middle of a restaurant in a day, man. And that's not that's that's like barely any of the stuff that he's done. But <laughs> again, the point being, hey, man, look at all this foolish stuff we've done, right? It may not even be, have been for a while. It could have been for your, for your, for your, uh, uh, your, your, your crew, man, your homies. Maybe you was trying to do something for them or, or whatever the case was. Try to defend one of them. That, look at you, man. Now you're over there incarcerated because some guy called your, called, called, called your friend a name. And you went over there and, and, and did something about it. And now you act foolish over it, man. You made yourself a fool over, over things that are, that, that really don't matter, man. Like it says here. For the end of those things is death. The end of the things of this world is death, man. That's why uh, 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 Simon Peter said this. Um, this is John 6 and uh, 66. It says, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Then said Yahweh Shai to the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, right? The Most High has the words of eternal life, man. Where the, where the hell are we going to go in the world, man? We can go back to this. <laughs> we can go back, go back to all of a sudden all your cares and all your worries become getting that honey bun in prison, man. <laughs> hey, the honey bun may taste good, right? And there ain't nothing wrong with you getting the honey bun, man. But they, at the end of the day, we've got a job to do. We have got a job to do, man. And and we've been we've been given the words of eternal life, man. To hell with everything else out here. Hey, the heavenly Father, hey, He's gonna give you what you need to get by, man. Like the scriptures say, hey, uh, uh, to keep yourself from burning, to keep yourself that that burning desire that you get, man. Hey, go go get yourself a woman. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I said in the beginning of the lesson, man. There ain't nothing wrong with getting with women. That's not what I'm saying in this lesson. But the point is, is <laughs> this is what all of our worries were, man. Your, your worries, especially in this world, that's like, that's like, for many of us, that's your, that's your number one, like, you just, you just trying to, you know, just get it in. <laughs> you're just trying to run through the world and, 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 and get it in while you can, man. That's become the spoils of Babylon. What a damn shame, man. <laughs> you see? Again, man, we, be, we became institutionalized, you see? But we've been given these words of eternal life, man. So what are you going to go back to? You're going to leave the truth to, to so you could have <laughs> one extra day a week to, to, to go and do this? Hey, man, the, 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 we got a brotherhood, too. You see, we got the body. Hey, if you want to be, you know, kicking it or whatever, hey, do what the brothers do it in righteousness, man. Because these brothers have a like mind, right? But again, the point is, man, this this is what all of our constellations had become. And like the scriptures say, man, hey, <clears throat> let 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 whoever it is you've been, <laughs> right? You 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 want to deceive you, your monthly prognosticators, so on and so forth, right? Your scientists. Esau, Edom. Let them save you from the coming wrath of the Most High. And some of us, <laughs> all of our grace period was spent trying to get some cheeks, man. 
some some ABC Chiefs at that, which, <laughs> you know, I, I say that because, you know, the ABC gum, man, which means already been chewed, chewing gum. Uh, ugh. Don't even, I, that, that's an, enough said there, man. Anyway. This is the book of uh, 2 Corinthians. The 12th chapter. And uh, the 8th verse, and it reads, For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that I might, uh, that it might not depart from me, and said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. My, my, most gladly, therefore, Will I rather glory in my infirmities? Look at that, man. Would I rather glory in my sicknesses? Because what? Because we've been given grace. Meaning that what? For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Through this flesh, through the trials and tribulations, right? Perfectness will come forth out of it, man. Right? Going on, uh, uh, it says... It says, mostly, gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. <laughs> right, let me let me go through it so I can get to it, man. Verse uh, 10, it says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities. Hey, this is the type of mentality we had to have, man. Hey, look at this guy's taking pleasure in, in looking like a goddamn fool at the bar. We could take pleasure in, look, in looking like a fool to the world, man. We can take pleasure in standing on the highways and the byways in our garments and prophesying against this world, man. James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses, man. Hey, you're talking about marriage and adultery. Hey, the act of sex is marriage according to the scriptures, man. So many of these women that are in the world, if not <laughs> in Babylon, right? Hey, they got they got hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of husbands, man. Some of them in the thousands. So yes, this world, ye adulterers and adulteresses, man. In fact, let me grab that real quick. This is uh, James chapter 4 and verse 4, and it reads, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Right? <laughs> so if you're a friend of the world, man, hey, you're, you're at enmity with the Most High, with, with power himself, man, with, with the Creator himself. Going on, it says, Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of this world, is the enemy of God. Look at that, man. Whoever is a friend of this world is the enemy of the Most High God because all this place has become is a, a place to promote, to promote adultery, man. A place to promote sin. A place to promote filling the valley, man. Getting one over on your neighbor. Lusting after what, what, what your neighbor has, man. Trying to take it, trying to, trying to uh, uh, get over on him, man. So you can look at your neighbor and, and look down. Oh, yeah, I had your woman. <laughs> It's fucked up, man. Hey, these are the same people that claim to, to, to be Christians, man. That claim to believe in the Bible. That come to us and say, where's the love, man? The scriptures tell you if you love one another, hey, you're going to fulfill the law because you ain't going to be breaking the law, man. You ain't going to be committing adultery on your neighbor's woman. You're going to be lusting after what's his. You ain't going to be uh, 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 stealing from him, man. You ain't going to be killing him. You see, but this world has, has, has <laughs> lost every type of moral that it's had and replaced it with whatever kind of Babylon juice Esau has given them to drink, man. They think that they're right, but they are wrong. They think they are strong, but they are weak. They think that they are 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 glorious, but they goddamn fools, man. This place is played out, man. You see, they may they may they may laugh at us, but we laughing at them, man. At the end of the day, who's gonna have the last laugh? We're gonna see. Second Corinthians 12 and 10. In fact, uh, 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 reminds me of us, uh, St. Ezra's the 16th chapter. It's like the 15th chapter in the first couple of verses, man. Hey, to hell with them, man. They're going to be destroyed in their unbelief. You see? Verse 10, it says, uh, it's like, where was I? Verse 11. I become a fool in glorying. Look at that, man. <laughs> I've become a fool in glorying. And look, again, we, we were we were fools in this world, so why can't we be a fool for you how about shimmy how shy, man? Uh, 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 look at look at your work spot, for example, too, right? Yeah, again, it can't be just women. It could be in many different ways, serving this world. No man could serve two masters, mammon and, and, and the most high. Hey, 
phrase that might be in the form of I mean how many of your of your of your jobs your work spots have asked you to do some some stuff that you would never do man cleaning cleaning the the public toilet right wiping up puke on the walls cleaning up after they dogs you know <laughs> even in the smaller matters man maybe washing a window I mean you know you, you out there looking like a fool for the world man just so you just so you could look like you're not a fool on 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 Friday nights man be able to take your girl out to the red lobster and, and look glorious <laughs> you see man hey the spoils of Babylon is dead man to hell with this place going on it says um ye have compelled me and and and, and let me say this too brothers there, there, there ain't nothing wrong in you know enjoying what you enjoy you know if you if you like something you find peace in something you find joy in something man that's okay right just just keep in mind we're sojourners this ain't our world but it's okay for you to you know enjoy particular things man but just don't overdo it the most high comes first again if you like women that's cool man go 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 do your thing but do it in righteousness, though, man. And make sure you always put your Haobash and Yao Shai first so that your whole <laughs> personality doesn't become this playbook, man. One day you're a scuba diver. One day, let's see what other ones we can find out here, man. I wish they had, I'm surprised they don't have, like, a bunch of different, because like I said, man, there's a, look at the Robin, look, it's a whole list, a whole a whole 15 items on, on the, the sequence it's going to take to make this woman... Uh, uh, give up the cheeks, man. <laughs> so you see how you see how far he goes into it. Look, the fireman. Look, the play. How you do it. Look, the su success rate, twenty five percent. This look the dude. Look, you you uh, you find this particular chick. Look, a uh, uh, success rate, a hundred percent. You find you find a particular chick that this card might play. This the 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 hot dude. Hey, you're going to see you over there, you know, hair combed back and <laughs> doing all this wild stuff that you wouldn't even normally do for yourself, but yet you doing it, doing whatever foolish act you need to do to, to, to get your goal, man. And in this case, we're going to do whatever foolish act. Whether you think it's foolish or not, we don't give a damn, man. Because, because we've learned to serve the creator and not the creation. You're, you're, if you have an opinion against what I'm doing, man, hey... I know damn well you ain't gonna be able to defend me from the creator, so I don't give a damn what your opinion is, man. If you ain't right with Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, <laughs> hey, like Yahweh Shai said, man, these are my family who do the will of the Most High, right? I don't care how successful you are in this world, man. If you ain't doing what you need to be doing as a man, which is to serve the Most High, then you are you a you are an extra in this movie, man. You a waste of skin. You a missile food, is what you are, man. A vessel created simply to be destroyed so the world can know that's why your ass don't do that man i want to be a vessel of glory man i'll be a fool in this world to be glory uh on the other side man <laughs> why would you want to be gloried on a side where we don't got nothing anyway man all is vanity and vexation of spirit go ahead and enjoy your piece of this your breadcrumb from the master's pie man i'm gonna wait till till i get i get served the entire pie man. <laughs> you see um, let's see, let me go ahead and, uh, where was I, man? Con, verse 11, I've become a fool in glory, ye have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended of you, for in nothing am I behind the very chief apostles, though I be nothing. Truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience, in signs, and in wonders, and in mighty deeds. So that's that's good on that, man. Alright, just showing you the point that, that what, man? We may look a particular way in this world, but guess what? We know that we that, that we're doing the right thing according to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And if it wasn't so, then this world would be acceptive of us, man. But they're not. Which means that, that we're doing something right, man. Yeah, what should I say? If they, if they, if they uh, uh, crucified me and, and and hated me, 
then they're also going to hate you. And if they don't, then your message ain't of, ain't of, of the Messiah, man. You're coming in with something to tickle the ears of the people. Right? So anyway, well, this is 1 Corinthians 1 and uh, verse 25. Because the foolish of God is wiser than men. <laughs> hey, so it may look like foolishness, right? What we doing for the most high God. But guess what? This is wiser than anything that any of you men can comprehend that thing so, man. It says, and weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world. It's the ultimate underdog story, man. Why? Because through the underdog story, faith is a... Uh, uh, faith is brought into fruition, man. Right? Because though it may not look like things are in our favor. We're not in the glory high seat. Through faith, we know that, that we will be, man. Through faith, we know what to do and how to get there, man. And the Heavenly Father is going to prove his power by delivering, right, the foolish things of this world to overcome the wise, man. If it was the wise to overcome the wise, where would the Heavenly Father's glory be, man? In fact, the glory would go to the wise that overcame the wise. What on it says, God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the of the world to confound they which are mighty, and base things of the world, and the things which are despised hath God chosen. Yeah, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence, right? No flesh should glory in his presence, man. Because this ain't of us, man. This is all of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. That's why the beginning and ending of all of our videos, where do all the praises go to, man? To Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna go ahead and end it over here, man. This is the book of uh, First Esdras. Um, just bear with me. I don't remember exactly what chapter it is. Man, this is uh, First Ezra chapter four, and um, verse twenty-two. By this also, ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil, and give and bring all to the woman? Right, and that's again, that's what we've been encapsulated in this box. And that's all what we knew, man. That's what we knew as a good. <laughs> A good father, right? A good man was this. As long as you did this, right? That's all that mattered, man. Well, guess what? Hey, we may look like bad fathers in the eyes of the world, man. Our women, some of our women may demonize us, man. Oh, this guy, all he does is go out on the streets and he's abandoned his family every Saturday. He doesn't want to spend time with his kids. They don't understand, man. That what we doing... <laughs> Is the purest form of love and some of us have given up our children to to for the love that we have for them man when a woman starts acting like that uh, strips your children from you get some nigga in the world creeping in her ear hey like i said earlier man i heard somebody in the world say i don't know if i finished saying what i was gonna say right it, it, but but i heard someone in the world tell me that they don't like dealing with these women that aren't in relationships because the competition's too high they're having to compete with like 700 other men. So they like to deal with women that are in relationships because all he has to do is make the one guy look like shit, man. <laughs> That's how these people in the world are, right? So they get some nigga in the world who starts creeping in their ear. Oh man, I wouldn't do that for you. I wouldn't do that. Hey, he pulls out the he pulls out the uh, the rebound card, right? Going into the different cards in the playbook, man. He pulls out the rebound guy. He goes over there playing the sweet cards and stuff. Meanwhile, damn well, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's pulling out the playbook, man. You see? These women these women get with the man of the Lord, right? They start eating right. They start glowing. Hey, you go go ahead and go get with one of these monsters out there, man. Because though we may look like we are foolish, 
we're wise, man. And you want to go get with the foolish, go ahead and see where that's going to end you, man. You see? You're going to find your, your, your seat replaced at the day of Jacob's trouble, man. Going on, it says, uh, let's see, first, uh, second. Oh, where was I, man? How did I get to second Corinthians? Um, yeah, that was weird, man. We'll go back to first Ezra where I just was. Uh, what was that? Chapter four, uh, chapter four and verse, uh, what was I at, man? It's locked in con. Verse uh, 22. It says, But this also ye must know, right? That, well, I just read that over verse 23. It says, Yeah, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers, and look upon a lion and goeth in darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. So again, you make yourself a fool in this world to, to <laughs> risk in your life, right? Putting yourself in sticky situations for, 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 for a woman. And again, <laughs> right? This, this was you toiling and doing all this. Hey, that was like a, you, you like it being likened unto a man, but what are you going to do when, when, when the famine hits, man? That don't sound like a good father to me. You're going to allow your children to eat each other? Hey, well, I guess they enjoyed their Saturday fun days with you, man. I, 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 I leave, just tell them that. Tell them while they're eating each other. Tell them, I hope you guys enjoyed your, 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 your Saturday park visits, man. You could have went any other day during the week. But you decided to disregard the most high because you had a family. Right, which goes into uh, which goes into this chapter here, man. This is the book of Luke, chapter fourteen, and uh, verse uh, tw uh, twenty-six. If any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters. So doesn't mean you have to actually go over there and hate these people, man. You gotta go, you gotta go tell your kids, I hate you. No, this is gonna look like hate in the eyes of the world because why are you gonna be serving the most high? You're gonna put the most high first, man. And and, and the world is gonna have a problem with that because the world is the problem. There was there was a scoffer years back, and I remember he came up and got in my face, man. He's whispering, whispering to me, telling me you're a shitty father, you're a shitty husband, you're, and he's just telling me all this stuff. Because <laughs> he knew. You know, he knew. And, and and really, man, these people these people got demons, man. This guy was put up there to, to poke and poke. You notice that. When you start going to camp, that's why it's important to do these things. To serve the most high, to go to camp, man. Right? Because these demons, they come poke, poke, and poke, and poke. And then you put more armor on and more armor on. And that's what this guy was doing, man. Because, yeah, it was getting under my skin. But guess what, man? I stood firm and I grew from it. And now I'm able to bring out the the situation for this lesson man so hey call like you how about shimmy out shy hey i'll take it because guess what there's gonna be a day coming where he's gonna see me he's gonna see me glowing man lord willing i endure you see but anyway um going on it says and his own life also he cannot be my disciple so you got to put your life away in this world to follow you how about shimmy out shy there's a point where a man told you was shy let me go bury my father before I follow you. And what do you have? What should I say? He said, let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> let the dead bury the dead. The people in this world are dead, man. Let them be dead. Somebody's got to play the dead. Let me go ahead and go up a little bit, man. Verse, uh, verse uh, 20. It says, and another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. Hey, so this guy said he's married a woman. I can't, I can't serve you, Lord. I just married a wife. What you expect me to do? Hey, well, <laughs> again, somebody's got to be the two thirds, man. You see, I'm giving it all up for you for 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 a woman, man. Yeah, how about should I give you a woman if that's something that you need? 
So, hey, uh, you might be a brother who don't need that, man. And as that, if that's the case, all all the more power to you, man. Call all you help by Shimiao Shai. You see? Because we're in a world where, <laughs> you know, your, your woman being the weaker vessel, man, Satan's going to get up on her. He's going to get up in her head. And it's going to give you a lot of problems, man. Especially in a world where, you know, most likely the woman you're dealing with, you're not her first man. So that's going to give you all the more problems. Because sex is a very spiritual thing, man. That's you becoming one flesh with that person. You're accepting their demons. And now, <laughs> now you uh, uh, got their DNA, man. You see, but people don't, people don't just go partner, 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 partner. Now you got this woman just filled up with a goddamn legion of demons in her. And she's just accumulated from all these different people, diseases. Oh, Lord, man. Let me go ahead and jump back. Second Ezra chapter 4 and verse, uh, where we're, verse 25, maybe. 24. Uh, converse, uh, verse 26. It says, Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Right? <laughs> become servants for their sakes, man. Be serving, be doing anything you can, right? Pulling every play out of the book for, for some of these women, man. So why can't we do that for Yahweh Bashim Shai, man? Why can't we pull every play out of the book for Yahweh Bashim Shai? In fact, that's what I'm going to call this lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Why can't we pull every play out of the book for the Most High? That's what we're doing in the world for these women, man. And it's it's it really, it's a shameful, man. Stressing out, right? Perhaps even crying. <laughs> Losing your goddamn mind over a woman, man. Breaking up friendships. Good friends. Good friends that you had, man. Casting that aside. <laughs> I've had whole friends. Some, I mean, uh, another little uh, uh, short testimony, man. Um, you know, there was a friend back in the day who was, uh, you know, dating this girl. And, uh, you know, we we're all in, like, high school or whatever. He was dating this girl and uh you know she ended up like she was she was always around so she ended up cheating on him with like a bunch of the friends and stuff and then one of the other one of the friends that uh she cheated on him with ended up running away and like marrying her man <laughs> you know but but nonetheless that whole the whole and th this is a group of friends you know i knew these kids so, i mean i knew them since like middle school but some of them knew each other since elementary school man and all of them friends got broken apart because of that man and this dude's still with that chick, as far as I know, somewhere out there. And he just fell off the face of the map, man. No social media, no nothing. Which, you know, I don't really blame him because <laughs> you're having to live with those demons now, man. This woman that was over there doing that with you. I, I guarantee you she's doing, she's, hey, like the scriptures say, that's why you learn game from Yao Bashim Yao Sha, man. We learn how these people think. We learn how we even think. <laughs> we learn more about ourselves than we even knew before, man. What does it say? Just as a serpent sits upon a rock. So will a woman, right, a, who, who, who has done a, a, a wickedness before, who's done adultery before, right? So will she wipe her mouth and say she's done no evil, man? <laughs> so if you got a woman who's, you know, who, who's cheated on you or your relationship began with that, hey, that's the, hey, that saying, once a cheater, always a cheater. When it comes to these women, man, that is a very true saying. I don't care who you are. Because the scriptures are the ones that told us that. You see? I mean, through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, we'll say this. All things are made possible, man. A woman could repent and a woman could, uh, you know, not do that act again. Right? As it was told to Mary Magdalene. What did Yahweh Shai tell her? Go and sin no more. He who cast the first stone, or he who has no sin, cast the first stone. And then he told her, go and sin no more. He didn't go tell her, go be a whore. He said, go and sin no more. Repent. You just got grace. Your ass was going to be put to death, but you just got grace, so repent. That's the message that was given to her so that we could then reflect on that message, man. But the world uses that to promote wickedness. Oh, well, he who without sin cast the first stone. That doesn't mean continue being a, a goddamn adulterer. <laughs> anyway, verse 26. I'm going to 
gonna read these uh, next couple verses and we'll end it there. It's at verse 26, it says, Yeah, many there be that have ran out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. We talked about the wisest man to walk the earth being King Solomon, right? Well, this just said that, that, that what? Many have erred. And where was King Solomon's error, man? Why did the, the, the whole northern kingdom get stripped and the, the 12 tribes of Israel split in half or split into two, right? And that's because what? As we mentioned, King Solomon had about 700 wives, 300 concubines, if I'm not mistaken. Well, the sin wasn't in that, but the sin was that he began to set up churches and altars and groves for the gods of these heathen women which led us to a time right just before the new testament during the uh, uh being brought back right when you read in the book of nehemiah in the book of ezra right being brought back during the reign of king darius to build up the second temple israelites began to cast off all the heathen women because we didn't want to have any stumbling blocks there for us man that's why Yahweh Shai came talking about there's no difference between Jew or Greek and Gentile because at this point we had cut off all of the Israelites who were of heathen mothers, man. But Yahweh Shai brought forgiveness for all Israel, man. So if you over here looking like a heathen, acting like a heathen, but guess what? Your, your father's seed line goes back to Israel, which does not need to be proved by genealogy, but by the Spirit, man. If you're able to receive this, then your father's seed line goes back to Israel, man. Point blank, period. You see? We've been scattered throughout the earth. Now we're going through all these curses wherever we are, right? Learn how to serve our bellies. Learn how to be this nigga here. But some of us, some through the incredible graces and mercies of Yahweh by Shem Shai, some of us have been able to wake up out of it, man. Some of us are no longer this nigga in the world. But we are pulling all the plays out for Yahweh by Shem Shai. Lord willing, man, he sees that. And Lord willing, we find favor in the day of trouble. And Lord willing, we endure unto the end. With that, Lord willing, this is edifying. We give all praise, honor, and glory. Once more, just as always, unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaq Wadash. Double honors unto the office of the apostles and peace, love, blessing, salutations. Unto all of you hopeful and faithful members of the elect out there, man. Keep pulling them plays out. May you endure. Shalom.